I think there's a global approach in medicine in general and anesthesia and intensive care as well to personalize uh, therapy. And now we have quite strong evidence that the way anesthesia is managed would affect patient outcome, including post-op mortality. And I think now the null comes at the right moment where we are mature in terms of pharmacology. So I think it is the right time to include in clinical reasoning a monitor of nociception, anti-nociception balance to look specifically at the way we give opioids for instance, and, and too many, too much opiates is not good, and insufficient opiates is not good as well. So I think it's the right moment to look at this. So for the first time we have um, an objective measure on how to titrate analgesia during a procedure, during a surgical intervention, um, and during general anesthesia. This was the missing link for um, objectively manage uh, our anesthetic patients. And the second thing is I want to mention is that um, with this we also have uh, a means of more objectively uh, and rationalize our analgesia during the procedures which may help eventually to um, improve the patient outcome and to avoid unnecessary opioid side effects. The challenge anesthesiologists face is getting the right amount of analgesia. The amount patients need varies by a factor of 10 and you simply don't know how much a particular patient needs. A monitor of nociception allows anesthesiologists to guide analgesic management and thus end up with a patient who wakes up well and has good pain control.